Ladies and gentlemen, there is one more false rumor, and it's like a thorn in my heart. According to John McClain, the Texans had planned to grant QB Deshaun Watson's trade request this very week in order to secure a heavy draft load of picks and players. Unfortunately, his legal issues got in the way and no team is likely to take him on not knowing if he will even be available to play next season with the NFL conducting their own investigation. McLean says eight teams had shown interest in putting together a trade package for Watson and Texans GM Nick Casario planned to hold an auction for a massive haul of picks that would jumpstart their rebuilding process. The list included the Jets, Dolphins, Panthers, Broncos, 49ers, Patriots, Bears and Washington, per McLean. Via the report, the Texans' plan was to get the most serious teams into a bidding war before general manager Nick Casario, with Cal McNair's approval, accepted the best offer that, ideally, would have included at least three first-round picks, two second-round second picks and a defensive starter. It's almost a for-sure thing that Watson will be a Texan for the upcoming season, but him actually playing won't be determined until the outcome of the 22 women currently filing lawsuits against for sexual misconduct or assault. McLean added that the Miami Dolphins were willing to send young QB Tua Tungavailoa and draft picks, including the third overall pick this year, to Houston. The Texans signed Watson to a four-year deal worth as much as $177 million heading into the 2020 season. Despite the team's terrible record last year, Watson still tossed for 4,823 yards with 33 touchdowns and seven interceptions. He also rushed for 444 yards and three touchdowns. There is no denying that he really is a star. And now, he's on a very high level. But the exchange of Tua Tungavailoa is not possible. Because Tua is the future of Miami Dolphins.